event. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Rexer Show. Today we're going to do an internet speed test on the Raspberry Pi 4. I'll also do a quick comparison to the Raspberry Pi 3B+. So let's jump right in. I'm going to first show you my current speeds that I get through my ISP. We'll just do a quick speedtest.net. Okay, so you can see on my laptop I get somewhere between 600, 700. I usually get up to around 850, uh, but at this time right now I'm getting between 600 and 700. And now we'll jump over to the Pi 3B+. Okay, so here we are on the Raspberry Pi 3B+. And one of the reasons I wanted to show you this internet speed test is I've been having some issues getting the maximum output of the 200, approximately 240 megabits per second down on the 3B+. It's a gigabit Ethernet, but restricted by the USB bus, uh, which brings the maximum down to about 240 megabits per second down. But I have not been getting that according to the speed tests I run. And I'm going to show you what is going on right here. And uh, if you have any comments, go ahead and put them in the uh, comment section. But I will say I've tried numerous, numerous things, uh, including going direct from the modem, uh, changing the MTU, a uh, bunch of different settings. So let's just run a test here real quick and you'll see what I'm talking about. And as you can see, uh, at a thousand speed duplex full, it's only showing me getting 37 uh, megabits per second down, which uh, is not uh, what I would be expecting with gigabit ethernet speeds and a Pi 3B plus that can max out at 240 megabits per second down. When I change the speed to a hundred duplex full instead of a thousand duplex full, uh, you'll see what I get when I do that. And so you'll see I get 90 megabits per second when I go down to a hundred speed duplex full, which would be expected because I'm telling it maximum speed of a hundred. Now this would, this would lead me to believe that there is some sort of communication failure between the modem uh, routers to the Pi uh, through the USB bus. I really don't know and I don't have an answer for this. As I said, I tried numerous different settings. Now why this imp is important to me is because if you watch my channel, you know I like to do net play on the Raspberry Pi. And obviously the faster speeds, the better connection, the better connection your peer is going to get. So I really wanted to get these speeds up, and that was one of the reasons actually I bought a Pi 4. We can take a quick look at browser test. We'll go to speedtest.net, and I also want to do a testmy.net. So let's change back to the 1000 duplex full and go back and run a speed test. And the results, again, very strange. Upload speeds higher than download speeds. Let's take a look at testmy.net. And if you're going to use this uh, website for testing speeds, you got to note it's a different type of test. Uh, read about it. Don't put too much stock in it, but supposedly it takes all the variables out of consideration that a ISP may put in there to make you think that you're getting better speeds than you actually are. Here are the results from the testmy.net. And I want to run this because I'm going to run it for the Pi 4 as well so you can get a comparison. Now, I'm not an expert on all these graphs and variables and statistics on here, uh, but it was interesting, this Cox Communication Speed Test Log, not that I understand it completely, but there's a lot of spikes and drops and everything going up and down in that uh, test graph there, which may be part of the communication failure between the modem and the Pi, which is causing my slower speeds when I am connected to the Ethernet on a thousand duplex full. So let's move on to the Pi 4. Okay, so here we are on the Raspberry Pi 4, Model B. This is the 4 gig RAM model. We're going to test the internet speeds using the same speed test. Dash CLI. 886 uh, megabits per second download speeds. Let's do it one more time just to see again. As you know, uh, internet speeds change instantly. So we'll just run two tests really quick. And 546 uh, mbits per second down. Uh, so I ran a couple of these tests. Uh, it'll go anywhere from 400 to 900 in that range. Uh, well, not not over 900, but that's about as max as you're going to get is 886, I believe, uh, with the download speeds. And I also did a test my .net, and again, I wouldn't put too much stock in this test. 
but you can see the results are much better on the Pi 4. Now I didn't get the same Cox communication log on the bottom graph. Um, it seems to be a different type of log or graph, so I can't compare that from the Pi 3B+. Plus. Speedtest.net produces some goofy uh, numbers here. Just wanted to show you this. I'm not really sure why the download only shows 83.21, but again, these uh, browser speed tests, I wouldn't put too much stock in them, but I just wanted to show you uh, for what I'm getting on the Pi 4. And before we go, I just want to test the Wi-Fi speeds really quickly. I'm going to turn on the Wi-Fi, and I'm on a 5 gigahertz signal. And there you can see we can get uh, up to 87, 88 uh, Mbits per second down. That is the standard for the Pi 4 on Wi-Fi, and it's the same as the Pi 3 at B+, as you can see. So if you're expecting higher speeds from the Pi 4 on Wi-Fi, you will not be getting them. I will also put a link down in the description on a website that goes over some more parameters uh, so you can check that out and verify that these numbers are consistent with what the website shows. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from the Rexer Show. Thanks again, everyone.